What is happening guys? It's your boy CD Woods here back today with something new. Today we're gonna be predicting the college football everything. I'm gonna take the top 25 teams and who they're playing and I'm gonna see who's gonna win and then like score my predictions uh, and see what I did last week and what I do this week and like my overall score and all that you know. Alright, so the first one is the number 25 Florida Gators versus the Ma Massachusetts Minutemen. What conference are they in? Is this like one of those easy teams that aren't even in the division as us? So yeah, Florida's going to win by 50. N nothing, yeah. Alright, this is the C.D. Woods lock of the week. We got the Oregon Ducks versus the UC Davis Aggies. Oregon is going to win. It, it's, it's happening. Alright. Now we got number 23, Baylor Bears versus the Northwestern State Demons. I actually saw the Demons play last year against Mississippi State, which was pretty cool. Don't ask me why I went to a Mississippi State game. So, but yeah, Demons, like, you're not winning. Baylor, pff, we already know Baylor's winning. Alright. Alright, this is actually a good game we're going to be having. It's the 22 North Carolina Tar Heels. Versus number 18, Georgia Bulldogs. So I gotta skip to Georgia now. Um, this is actually a toss up. I mean, SEC versus ACC, two good teams, both really good. I'm gonna go and pick the Georgia Bulldogs to win this one. This is gonna be a good game. Alright. Alright, now we got the number 21, Oklahoma State Cowboys versus the Southern. versus the Southeastern Louisiana Lions. Alright, so usually we would do one last, but since we're going hit already hitting 20, we're going to go ahead and do the game. This is the number 20 USC Trojans versus the defending championship champions, number one, Alabama Crimson Tide. And obviously I have some sort of bias to Alabama, alright? I obviously do. But I don't see Alabama losing to the Trojans, okay? I don't think you can go up and ask anyone, do you realistically see Alabama losing to the Trojans? And it and them say, yes. Because they'd be lying. I mean, you could be like, they don't have a quarterback. They didn't have one last year or with Blake Simpson. Both times they went to the playoffs. So, I, I don't really see them losing to uh, the Trojans. Um, maybe they'll lose somewhere else, but I don't think it's going to be to the Trojans. So, I mean... Sorry, Trojans, you're starting with an L, Alabama, with a W. All right, so now I don't have to do number one anymore. That's great. All right, and now we have the number 19, Louisville, or Louisville Cardinals, whatever you want to say, versus the Charlotte 49ers. And just because you have the name of the San Francisco 49ers, does that mean you are as good as them? And they actually aren't that really good in real life either. So, yeah, Louisville Cardinals all the way. They're not get losing today. Oh, but this is actually coming out on, uh, huh. this, this video is going to be coming out on Friday, but I'm recording it on Thursday, so this game's already happened. So yeah, we'll also just go ahead and say the Tennessee game. Yeah, Tennessee is winning against the Appalachian State Ma Mountainers. So yeah, just saying that, I didn't realize, you know. Alright, now we have the 17 Iowa Hawkeyes versus Miami o of Ohio Red Hawks. I don't know if I got that right. It has Miami, then the O-H in parentheses. But yeah, Ohio was a very good team last year. They were literally one drive away from, well, one drive removed from going to the playoffs last year. So yeah, I'm not going to ride the, the uh, Iowa, but I mean, Miami isn't that good of a team. I think they're in the MAC or something. They're not, they're not respected. Um, the Hawkeyes are going to win. All right, now we got the C.D. Woods game of the week. All right, so I think the Georgia game versus North Carolina is a bit better, but this one has me a little. This one has me a little more intrigued. We got the UCLA Bruins versus the Texas A&M Aggies. So yeah, I mean we know, all know that the Texas A&M has had a lot of drama, but um, I think they're an all right. I still think if their quarterback could play good that they will have an all right season. Uh, UCLA, do I see them winning? I can see it being very close. I don't really know a lot about the UCLA. I don't know a lot about UCLA. I can see it being very close. 
I don't think the Aggies are going to win. I just said they could have a good season. It just all depends on their quarterback. Uh, but, yeah, I think UCLA is going to win. All right, and now we have the 15 Houston Cougars facing the Oklahoma Sooners, who are at number three. And this is going to be the uh, C.D. Woods upset of the week. Yes, the upset. I got the Cougars beating the Sooners. If there was an upset that's going to happen, this is the game it's going to happen at, in my opinion. I don't, I don't think Clemson is going to lose to Arkansas. Or not Arkansas, Auburn. I mean, maybe if Deshaun Watson doesn't make the bus, that Auburn might have a chance to win. But, yeah, I don't see, uh, I don't see that happening. So this is the most likely the upset is going to happen here if I was going to predict one. So yeah. All right, and now we get the 14 Washington Huskies versus the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. I actually don't watch a lot of, I've never even, I mean, I've, I've heard of the Washington Huskies. I know Washington's like a good team. But uh, honestly, I I didn't realize Washington was in the top 25. So, <laughs> I really didn't realize that. So, uh, yeah, I guess they'll beat the Rutgers. I'm not gonna best bet against them. I don't. I don't know enough about the Huskies or the Rutgers. But yeah, I don't think the Rutgers are. I know the Rutgers aren't good. All right, now we get the 13 TCU Horned Frogs versus South Dakota State Jackrabbits. What? <laughs> I mean, is this really a game? No, it's not. TCU is going to win. You already know. Moving on. And the Michigan State Spartans at number 12 will be playing the Furman Paladins. And, again, another crap team playing a really nationally respected team. I'm going to say the nationally respected team every time. So, yeah, Michigan State is going to win. All right, and now we have the number 11 Ole Miss Rebels playing number 4 Florida State Seminoles. So, yeah, this is going to be a really good game. It's on a Monday night, which is surprising enough. But, uh, yeah, as much as I'm an SEC fan and I like to see the SEC go over, I can't really bet against Florida State at this point. I mean, they've got a Heisman hopeful in Dalvin Cook. And all I've heard this is this offseason is about building up Florida State and Clemson, saying they're going to somehow get two in the playoffs, which is not going to happen. Why am I holding up three? It's two. What the freak am I dumb? But yeah, Ole Miss, um, yeah, you're, it sucks, but you're starting 0-1. Sorry, Chad Kelly. See you week three. I'm going to say it like, I'm going to read it. I know it's Notre Dame, but I'm going to call it Notre Dame, Fighting Irish, versus the Texas Longhorns. Uh, I mean, I think Texas is getting back to being a good team, but Northern Dame is Northern Dame. They were, they had a pretty good se season last year. So yeah, they're number 10, so I'm going with Notre Dame. Sorry, Texas. All right, so I I've already said I don't think the Tennessee Volunteers are going to beat the Appalachian State Mountaineers. So, moving on to the 8th best team, we got the Stanford Cardinals versus the Kansas State Wildcats, and Christian McCaffrey's going to go off, have a huge first game this season against the Kansas State Wildcats, and put him into the Heisman spotlight, baby. So, yeah. So, yeah, Stanford beating Kansas State. All right, and now we've got the Michigan State Wolverines versus the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. <laughs> really? Is that what you're going with? <laughs> Rainbow Warriors. And actually, the Hawaii already has lost a game, and already are 0-1, and, and when they play Michigan, they're going up win too. I mean, not only does Michigan have tape on them, but Michigan is coached by Jim Harbaugh, who I can't stand. All right, and then number six, we have the Ohio State Buckeyes versus the Bowling Green Falcons. Now, if you don't know, Bowling Green has actually been the three-time MAC champions, I believe. They've actually had a few good seasons where they're like 9-3. But this is Ohio State. I mean, I realize they had a lot. They lost a lot in the draft. But this is Ohio State. I don't see Bowling Green winning this game at all. I mean, well, I, I, I can see Bowling Green winning this game. But it's I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think there's enough. I think Ohio State is going to fix its uh, problems of losing everybody in the draft and really get their 
Offense and defense, good. Uh, Bowling Green, you're not winning this game. Ohio State, it's going to win. All right, now we got LSU versus Wisconsin at Lambeau. But, I mean, as much as the talk is of, of us being like a good game and stuff, do we really see LSU losing? No, we don't. I say Leonard Fournette is going to go off, and uh, start off with a 200-yard rushing game. Even though Wisconsin has a great front seven, or, yeah, a great front seven. I mean, we saw what they had last year. They played Derrick Henry, and Derrick Henry smothered them. I think Leonard Fournette's going to do better, and I think Brandon Harris is going to improve a bit from last year as a quarterback. So, yeah, LSU Tigers going over Wisconsin uh, terribly. All right, and the last game of the week is the number two Clemson Tigers versus the Auburn Tigers. Tiger versus Tiger. One Tiger is going to win against the other. And let me tell you, Auburn, I hate you, and you're going to lose. So we're all good. Clemson is going to win. Deshaun Watson is not going to miss the bus or the plane or whatever going to Auburn. And Deshaun Watson is going to start off being the Heisman favorite by far. So, yeah, Clemson is going to win by, like, 100 it, it put it down. <laughs> right, so those were this week's top 25 picks. Holy crap, it took forever. Hope you're staying with me to the rest of the season. Uh, hit like if you like this idea and want to see more. And subscribe if you want to see more. This is going to be coming out every single week, baby. And then we're going to do something at the end of the year, too. I don't know what it is, but yeah, maybe it'll be me going on there with Kirk Herbstream being like, Bruh, I is better then you, but I'm not, so let's be honest, I I'm not, <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching, comment your picks, and I'll see you guys in the next video.